looks funny in these games. He's like, yeah. Ooh. Fine. It's just a single last stage. No, it, well, eh, kind of. There's this stage, then another one before the item is right. Now, but see, he's like, get out my lawn. Now, see, here's the, uh, this is the new enemy right here, the robot. Well, it's only an hard one. No, it's wow. actually, he's actually here throughout the entire game, whether it's on normal or hard. Okay. Oh, okay, that's yeah, Billy throws bombs. The one advantage about killing these robots is normally with enemies they throw out like they drop the small lightning bolts. With some of these robots they drop out the uh, large lightning bolts. Stop throwing bombs at me, dang it. Target bad. Target Bobby! Target tail! Hang it, Bobby, I tell you what! Right. I tell you what, I'm a I'm dead serious about this. Nah, come on, man. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got a regular. Ah, uh, that's really a problem. Something happened to Blue. Something happened to Blue. <laughs> if you don't know, that's just. That's a quote from Beautiful Joe, too. We just say that just for the heck of it, because, you know, just the way that Joe's dad sounds in that game. Okay, this is another sort of tough mini boss because you gotta. Here. Yeah, but, yeah. The problem with this is that he will pull you, like he'll literally hold you back, to keep you limited to where you're going. So I suggest that you at least do the crouch kick because that'll that'll lead you to beating. Yeah. Sounds like ten dollar replacement controller. Oh yeah, the ten dollar replacement controller is nice. Yeah, I had to. Oh wait, we just got a roast beef. That really refilled the health. Are you? Oh yeah, that this is one of my other personal favorite new enemies that they put in the game. The only problem is he only appears in this stage. But you fight a ninja. You literally fight a ninja. It's kind of like the one that you fight at the end of the first game. Maybe it's his brother. Maybe it is. Anyway, um, your controller. Yeah, I bought this down at Cash and Culture in uh, Greensburg. If any of you don't know the store Cash and Culture and you live in the Pennsylvania area, like near Greensburg, I suggest giving that store a look because they got some great video game stuff. I mean, you can find all sorts of video game stuff there. Not to mention action figures, DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, records. You know, you can find all kinds of classic stuff there. You can even find, you can even get movie props. They have movie props from Dawn of the Dead there. Yeah, and they got, like, you can get the Freddy Krueger glove. Which, I'll admit, around Halloween, you can actually get that at Hot Topic, but... It's like, like an older one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, Hot Topic's the best place for that kind of stuff. Alright, let's see here. Special attack. Oh. Ouch, ouch, okay, okay. My mistake. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Alright, this pattern for these beams, like, for these turrets are confusing. Just jump away like Billy in a jig. Billy doing the jammerama. Jammerama dance. Okay, that's good. Ah, yeah. See what I mean by this has the big difficulty curve? At least you're winning. Yeah, I got two lives oh, left. Super Mario World all over again right here. Yeah, that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so eight hits gets you. Right. I gotta wait. Go. Woo! What? This pretty quick. Yeah. How long have we been recording? 32 minutes. 32 minutes. Oh. Doesn't feel like that long, huh? No, we've just been sitting here chatting and playing Power playing a bunch of Power Rangers game. It's pretty much like revisiting childhood, man. No, mostly for you, because I have you know, if we were playing the first game, which I keep I mean, referring no. to for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Power Rangers is our child. Well, yeah, Power Rangers is our I mean, well, I mean, granted, back whenever I was born and growing up, 
that was around the time that that was whenever pa Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was long past done, and they were just getting started on Turbo. Yeah, when I was, uh, I watched Dino Thunder, but I watched three months. Oh man, did you ever hear the 2010 version that they did? What, a Mighty Morphin? Yeah. Wasn't it like really bad or something? The thing that they did was they, you know, did all these special effects. Was it like a comic book or something? It just didn't work? Yeah, comic book style. I think they went decently far. I mean, they went up to Tom. But other than that, it was. But you know, come on. Of course. Like, with Power Rangers, Tommy is like the one main person that they remember. It's either Tommy or Jason. <laughs> remember that picture I sent you? Where it was a Godzilla versus the Megazord. Oh man, dude. That's like, that's literally an ultimate fight right there. I mean, Godzilla's a kaiju, I guess that, you know. Wait, what are those things called from Pacific Rim? The robots. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, like, pretty much the Megazord could be a Jaeger. Yeah, I think they're called Jaegers. Yeah, J A G I R. Like Frank Jaeger. Yes, from Metal Gear Solid. Oh, dude, I'm gonna be honest here. Pacific Rim was a great movie. It's too unsated. I think that, like, whenever I first saw the trailer, I thought it was Godzilla. I wasn't sure what it was gonna be. I'm just like, Godzilla, lots. Godzilla. It's a robot. Oh, this is... Apparently, did you hear about the new kaiju? Did you see the trailer that reveals the new kaiju? It's gonna Muto. be... Muto. Huh? Muto. That's what... That's literally what the name oh, of the kaiju called? is. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, I haven't, I, seen, I I haven't it. seen how he looks, but my friend told me about it. I saw it. It's a flying... It's a flying creature. At first, I was like, is it Rodan? Is it Mothra? Well, if it was Mothra, it would be fighting Godzilla. Well, I mean, no. And there were Godzilla movies where he fights Mothra. They, yeah, but they be, well, yeah, it's true, but still. But they, they eventually do become animals. Yeah, they, yeah. That's just how it is. Yeah. Alright, let's see. We gotta get up to this. Yeah, this what is... What is Zilla up here? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is one of the hardest parts of the game right here, because... You're trying to get up every, trying to get up a place, and there's all these, all sorts of enemies just wanting your head. Not a single health power up inside. Yeah. Oh, hell of a sound effect. It's like dirt, dirt, dirt. You know, it's like when you die. It's like, <laughs> I remember pausing the game in Street Fighter 2. Dirt, dirt, dirt. <laughs> it's like, it's like the announcer, um, just had to cough for a minute, you know? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, please, don't miss. Yeah, that thing reminds me of the mini boss I was talking about a little bit ago. We're one. really getting that. Man, I'm really getting that. Oh. Careful, careful, careful. I just call you son. I don't know. You're not the father of me. Careful, Sanford, son. You, you're getting. You know. I'm seeing you soon. Oh, I'm eating Typhoon. And all those fairies can bite my butt. I've heard. I, uh, This is escalating quickly. Well, I escalated Oh! <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, please, just don't die. Just don't come fight die. with me. Come fight with me! Secret tech- oh. Secret tech- oh. Secret technique! Oh, it's sword slash. <laughs> Secret- Sword slash. Come on. I'm literally just treading on thin ice here. Ooh. Oh, there goes the ninja. How to defeat a ninja? Hit them before they save their special attack. Yes, because that's just how you kill them. All right. I like the background. All right, I'm going to be honest here. There is another really, like, the boss that's coming up is one of the other hardest bosses. I lose yeah. game, you know, yeah, I mean, you still got four credits. Mm, yeah, but I challenged myself to yeah. you know, get through this game without losing a single thing. Hopefully you can. Okay, that's good. Yeah, there are platforming parts where... There are parts 
for platforming in this game, but it gets annoying. Yeah, there wasn't much platforming in the first one. Well, okay, there was, but, you know, it wasn't like... Yeah, we're coming up to the boss. Okay. Oh, mama! Alright, if I can just be able to... Did you say virgin? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here comes the boss. Yes, so yeah. Here's the boss. Oh, so hard. It's morphin' time! So Triceratops! Silverhorn, right? Yeah. Yeah, Silverhorn. Yeah, the it's problem so with early, dealing he had a southern accent in the show, apparently. Oh man. He could be like he could be like Angel Grove's country singer. He'd be like, I drove my truck. The China San Francisco. Oh yeah, you remember that place. All right. Dragons. All right. The method with him is you can punch him a few times, but then he'll be invincible as he walks through. So you gotta be sure. And you gotta be sure that whenever he starts, you know, looking like he's gonna throw a punch, get away from him. And whenever he shoots those out, run. Like make sure that you do not get in sight of those. Beating him. What are those red things? Oh. Yeah, they shoot lasers. Yeah, I was gonna say um, those are hazards. So watch out. You can destroy them, it's just... It's fine. Oh man. This is an intense fight. Yes it is. Wow. I actually took no damage on that. And I got an extra life. Wow. So what's next, last stage? Or... Second to last stage, and we're, we're saving the best character for the last... For these last two stages. You know who.